in the southernmost outpost of the British Empire in North America. <laughs> Fort King George is the oldest English fort remaining on Georgia's coast, and from 1721 until 1736, Fort King George was the southern outpost of the British Empire in North America. The site is closed on Mondays, however they're open Tuesday through Sunday 9 to 5. The admission is $7.50 for adults and $4.50 for youth. We're the first ones here, and so she suggested that we go to the floating dock to see if we can catch some manatees, some dolphins, or any kind of wildlife that we might be able to see this early in the morning. We didn't realize when we got here that the first thing that we would hear and see and feel were the mosquitoes. We did not have bug spray on. Highly recommend that you spray yourself down before coming to this site. Poor girls were really, really distracted by all the bugs swarming around them. You have to imagine that here we are around water and this Fort. It's beautiful, but it's covered by water. <laughs> well, we came out to the dock, and unfortunately, there are so many bugs that the girls ran back to go get bug spray because it's really intense with bugs here. So we had to get some bug spray, and they they ran they ran back to go get it, didn't they? <laughs> they ran to go get back to get the bug spray, and Chloe and I have been really, really quiet. I think what we're going to do is actually walk up to the fort now and go explore it. Back in 1729, a scoutman led by Colonel John Barnwell built out a cypress blockhouse, barracks, and a palisade. So this is one of the last southern um, forts of the British Empire here in Georgia. Fort King George was the British garrison of the Georgia colony and it's located in Darien at the mouth of the Altamaha River. It was established in 1721 as the southernmost outpost of the British North America. It was the post that became the stronghold for the coveted southern region. So we're actually inside one of the barricades where people slept. This looks like more like a mess hall where people would eat. The present day Fort King George was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1971. It includes authentically restructured blockhouse, the remains of the old sawmill, and one of the oldest British military cemeteries in the southeast. Throughout the 1600s and early 1700s, land along the river, now part of Georgia, was one of the most coveted territories in North America, and an area was rich in natural resources like accessible waterways. The British claimed it as the southernmost part of their colony and the Spanish regarded this claim as an obstacle to their mission of expanding their empire and Christianizing the natives in the New World. The French viewed it as a control of the Altamaha River and an opportunity for the eastward expansion of their empire. The Cypress Log Blockhouse consisted of three levels, a powder, ammunition, and supply storage room on the lower level, and then a gun cannon port room on the second floor and then a lookout post on the third floor. So inside you've got views from either the end, the south and the north sides. Really beautiful breeze up in the top and obviously <laughs> no bugs, <laughs> which for all of us is huge as there are a ton, a ton of mosquitoes being this close to the marsh and the water here. It's very cool architecture and being inside it's well preserved gives you a really incredible glance at what it might have been like. We're talking back in the 1700s. It's definitely worth coming to see. The strategic positions afford some of the best views. The design of the benches, even that is 
you know, uh, much different than what we use today. They endured incredible hardships from disease, threats of Spanish and Indian attacks, and the harsh, unfamiliar coastal environment. After the fort was abandoned, Scottish Highlanders were sent to Georgia to establish a new outpost, and under the leadership of James Oglethorpe, these men established the settlement of Darien and a sawmill along the river. The sawmill was the beginning of what was to become a large-scale lumber industry for Darien. So that then during the years where the lumber mill was the most active, locals could walk across the waterway without even touching the water when the sawmills and everything was most active in Darien. to be a little cautious because some of these stumps actually look like alligators. <laughs> This is called Carolyn's Cottage, but I have to tell you, I sort of feel like I'm in Sleeping Beauty and I've just stumbled upon, across um, Sleeping Beauty's cottage in the woods. So this cottage was actually a replica of the Scottish Highlanders cottage. It's the type of dwelling that the earliest settlers of Georgia would have called home. It's very primitive. It's got dirt floors, mud walls, and wattle frame. It's actually really hard to imagine how difficult life must have been for these pioneers. Um, the interior is quite small, and for a family of any size living in this space, I could imagine it was much harder than, um, than life today. The depiction in the museum shows the formal dress of the Scottish Highlander around the time, and the girls had a lot of fun learning tons of information on this park and George's history. If you do decide to come, come early in the morning to avoid the heat, and definitely bring your bug spray. Mm -hmm.